What's happening, baby? It's going to be a collective read for my tours. Let's see what's going on for tours. Some move out to be in some snow for my tours. What's up, babies? How y'all guys doing today, tours? What's happening? What's popping, baby? What's good? What's good, tours? What's good, baby? It's going to be for my tours. Sun, moon, rise, Venus, and North Node for my Taurus babies. Okay? So, clean energy food. When you fuel your body with a, health, with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to, to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. For some of you guys, I feel like you're already eating healthy. That's why it came in reverse. Some of you guys are already, you could be um, into juicing. You could be on like a... um plant-based diet here but you're eating clean foods which is great because when you eat a when you eat a clean diet here it also cleanses you within your spirit here spiritually it cleans it's, it's healthy for you spiritually it's going to help you attract um, more opportunities and beneficial relationships that can help you grow and help you move forward to the next phase in life. This is also um, going to help you put you on a, a better vibration. It's going to put you on a higher vibration because you're able to connect with source and spirit when, based on what you eat. What you put in your body, it has a lot to do with your, it also um, has a, an effect on your connection to the divine here. So some of you guys need to eat more clean foods. You need to eat more health, more healthy, more clean here. I'm getting um, more green foods you need to eat here. Green vegetables here. Okay. What else for my um, Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus and North Node for Taurus? What's going on, Taurus? How y'all guys doing, baby? Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Take a divinely guided chance. Some of you guys may want to look at Leo reading because Leo got a lot of these um, these same two cards. Take a divinely guided chance. So you may have... Um, fire in your chart but all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities here so spirit wants you guys to take a chance Take a chance, take a risk and do what you want to do if you want to do something different it now is the time. If you want to go to us a new job, if you want some, some some sort of new career opportunity, you want to buy a home, whatever it is new that you want to do, it's the time to do it. Spirit wants you to, you know, step out on um, faith and walk by faith and not by sight here. Yeah. And then we have donations, tithing, and charitable work here. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you. You know that your generosity will be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, money, or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. So, of course, when you put what you put out, you're going to get that tenfold. You're going to get that triple, I feel like here. Spirit wants you to um, donate, you know. Do some charity work. Also pay your tithes here. I could be talking to somebody who's very, you could be very traditional. You could be more, you could go to church every Sunday. You could be somebody who's more um, traditional here. Um, you have some sort of religion you believe in here. But I feel like Spirit wants you to do more tithing here. Um, and when you give, Spirit wants you to give joyfully. When you give, make sure you're giving joyfully here. Um, and know that what the, that's the energy you put out the energy you put out when you the more you give and the more you donate and the more you pour into those in need spirit is going to take care you're going to get you're going to get that back plus some plus more that's what spirit wants you to know what else for my yeah for for my tours pay yourself first make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid this loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present, in your future here. Also, some of you guys could, you know, when you get your money, you could be somebody to a paycheck to paycheck. And as soon as you get your money, you spend it. You spend it. Spirit wants you to hold back and save some of your money. Don't be so quick to just spend your money. You know what I'm saying? Your best investment is yourself. Invest in yourself first. Your self-care. Make sure that you're good. Invest in yourself because you never know what may happen in the present or in the future. And you may you, you may need that savings here. So make sure you pay yourself first when you get paid here. Unlimited ideas at the bottom of the deck. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring you blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these actions to come into fruition, baby. This is so beautiful. This is very beautiful here. Um... It's not about where you are, where you at in life. That's why you can never judge a book by its cover, and you never judge somebody based on their financial status, or based on their um their social status, or their 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 tax bracket. Because 
You could be somebody that's sitting on a sitting on you can have a million dollar mind. I'm talking to a Taurus who your mind, you have unlimited ideas. You're sitting on money. You're sitting on it. And you could be scared to take a risk and scared to take a chance. Spirit wants you to take a chance and act on those ideas that you have. Because those ideas you have can really change your life here. That's the blueprint. <laughs> And I feel like those ideas you have are going to bring you blessings. You got to put your ideas to work and you're going to see it pay off. You're going to see, you're going to see your hard work. Um, the things that you want coming to, um, to fruition here. Yeah, you have a million dollar mindset here. As long, you know, say, understand that people can take anything away from you, but they can never take away your knowledge. They can never take away this. As long as you got this, you always have the ability to make money here. Just, it's like that saying, like, why give a, why give a man a fish for him to eat for a day when I can teach him how to fish? He can eat for a lifetime. Your knowledge is going to have you eating for a lifetime. Okay, what else for my tour still? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Most known for Taurus, baby. What's up, Taurus? What's up, baby? Beautiful reading. I'm loving it. <laughs> loving it already. What else for my Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. North Node. We got the past. The past here. Something from the past is coming back. Perhaps an old job or an unfinished project. Look to the past to understand the future lesson and experience or an old skill you could be earning or receiving money from something you did in the past here so you may want to look at something you did in the past that could be a skill or something that you did that you're really good at some type of um I could, I could something you could be somebody wanted somebody could be into music you could play like the trumpet or some shit like that yeah i feel like you could play the trumpet or something like that here but i feel like you have some sort of skill you got some sort of musical skill but also an old job could be calling you back. If you left a job or a job let you go, I'm getting an old job wanting to hire you back here. Oh, there's some type of project that you didn't finish. You may want to look to that. Comfort. Though you are not exactly rich, you will be living comfortably. You're entering the most comfortable period of your life. Your finances are in a state or in a state of balance. So I feel like some of you guys, you may not be rich, but you're comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You may not be where you want to be, but your finances are not hurting. Your your finances are balanced or it's, it's coming into balance. And these all these came over setbacks. Taking one step forward to make two steps back. Setbacks are telling you that you are not ready to enter the next phase. Okay, taking one step forward to make two steps back. Setbacks are telling you that you're not ready to enter the next phase. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So for some of you guys, I feel like your finances could not be growing because you're keep doing the same shit, expecting the same, expecting different results, and you're only getting the same results. So you could be, like I said, some of you guys, you may not be necessarily hurting in your finances. I feel like the finances are just at a state of its balance at this time, but it's not growing either. It's just at a like at a standstill. Cuz you need to reassess some things and look at some things here. And with the now we got no. Okay? Perhaps you are insisting that reality be something other than what it is. What are you refusing to see? Is it better to live in truth than a lie? If you're if you've been putting a false front to make money, it's time to remove that mask. So somebody could get money illegally here or the wrong way here. Okay. And then we have business here. Do not be intimidated to enter the world of business. You go. You got this. Consider executive positions, becoming a CEO or anything in the corporate world. Elevate your awareness and think bigger if you want different results. Okay, damn. You hear that? Elevate your awareness and think bigger if you want different results. So some of you guys, you're not, your money is not going because you're comfortable. 
Whatever you're doing, it's on a small scale. You need to think big and go big. Go hard or go home. Something is no... So you you playing, you playing like Little League or some shit. You playing on a small field. You need to, you need to think on a bigger scale here because something is... Meant, some of you guys are meant to open up your own business. Something you need to be... You're meant to be like a CEO or something in corporate America. <clears throat> yeah, it, you need to say action. Some of you guys may be meant to be like an activist too with this Black Lives Matter here. You may meant to be some sort of activist or something here too. And at the bottom of that, we have spirituality here. Use money, magical skills to increase wealth and prosperity. Spiritual advisor, healer, tarot reader, or anything in the occult. You're being guided to discover your unique spiritual path right now. So, mm, some of you guys may be meant to do some sort of spiritual work. This is gonna, this, this will, this um will bring you some sort of wealth and prosperity as well here. You're being guided to discover your your you have a unique path that's set for you. Something this may be like a spiritual business you're meant to create and start here. Doing some sort of, you know, being a spiritual advisor, being a tell reader, doing something like that. You're meant to do something like that here to bring you some money. Whatever you're doing, that ain't working. If you had like a nine to five, yeah, that ain't that ain't what it is. Okay, let's see what's going on for Leo. I mean, oh my God, you, I'm sorry, I just did Leo reading. I mean, Taurus, I'm sorry, Taurus. You guys may be, you, like I said, you guys may want to look at Leo reading. Okay, let's see what's going on for um Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, and North Node, baby. Yeah, take chances, take risks. Scared money don't make no money. Okay, life is all about risk, baby. Y'all go ahead and do that. Do that, okay, Taurus. What else? Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Okay, so we got learning. You are unique and special, and I have never met anyone like you before. You have opened me up to things that I never knew were possible. I am so strong because of the power of our love. You have opened my heart to the truth. I am grateful for the lessons that we both are learning now. This is somebody who, this is somebody who you taught them a lot. You showed them a lot. Um, this is somebody who's grateful for your presence in their life here. This is somebody who they've learned lessons dealing with you here and forgive. Somebody is strong because of you. I feel like you brought somebody out of a dark place. Somebody was weary. Somebody was tired. Somebody felt unloved. I feel like you gave somebody strength and hope and life. Somebody is grateful for the lessons that, that, that they learned and, and that you guys are both learning together. You have opened somebody up and made them see life in a different perspective and see things that they never thought they'll see before. Somebody look at life from, from a bird's eye view. They see something from a different perspective here and forgive. I hope you will forgive me for all the things I have done and all the pain which I have caused you. But believe me, my love, that was not my intention. I know I have hurt you pretty badly with my words and actions, but I am really, truly sorry, my love. This is somebody who wants your forgiveness. They really want your forgiveness. Somebody who's really sorry. I bet somebody prays. They pray for you. They pray to the most high that you forgive them. This is somebody they pray. They praying to God. They praying to God that you forgive. They praying to God for another chance with you. Need you because they need you. You are so nurturing, magnetic, passionate, queen in my life. Your light shines bright and God guide through me in my darkness. Got me through my darkness. You feel like home to me. And I always feel happy and comfortable in your presence. Thank you for 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 um <clears throat> Thank you, my love, for always sending me healing energy and love. I need you and your energy even more now. This person is so grateful for you. This person is so thankful for you. This is somebody who they didn't appreciate you then. They damn sure appreciate you now. They realize how valuable you are, how important you are in their life, and how much you have changed them. Yeah, best self. I am working really hard to level up for you and meet you as your equal, your mirror. I know we will always grow together, but I want to be proud of who I am today. This is somebody, they really doing the work. This person really working, really doing the work on themselves. They really doing the inner work, the inner healing, working on their shadow side. This is somebody who's definitely doing the work because they want to be the best them for you. They want to be the best version of themselves so they can be the best person to you. And you can't be, you can't be to somebody what you can't even be to yourself. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who... They don't want to just need you, but they want to be able to be, you know, somebody beneficial for you. They want to, they want to be able to satisfy you as well. It's not all about them. This is somebody who, who they're not thinking selfish on a selfish level here. Doubt. Please stop doubting our connection. 
I can sense it and it's making me doubt too. Just have faith and know I will reach out to you when the divine timing is right. Trust the process, my love. Everything will work out beautifully. This is somebody who, y'all not in communication. You're, you guys are not. But they feel your energy. They feel you though. This is somebody who, they're letting you know they're going to reach out to you. They are. Divine timing. We are on the journey in the divine dance on the soul plane. It will manifest into the physical world in perfect divine timing. All we have to do is trust and have faith that we will work out beautifully. This person wants you to know that y'all, everything going to work out. Y'all going to, they want you to know that y'all going to come back together. Y'all are going to be up and have, and have this new beginning. Y'all could be, y'all connecting right now on the 5D, but y'all are going to come together in the physical realm as well here. So, because y'all going to have a new beginning together here. And at the bottom of the day is new beginnings. I have realized what I was missing in my life and that is you. This new love has given me a fresh perspective and changed who I am. There is no going back only for it. When I met you after that, I never looked back. I want to have a fresh start with you. Damn, this person won't. They won't marriage with you. Damn, this mother. Uh, damn, this motherfucker won't. This somebody who they have really learned. They really learned from their mistakes. They really doing the work on themselves. And you got to respect that. You know what I'm saying? I know people do fucked up shit sometimes, but everybody deserve um, grace. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? If, that's if you really doing the work and you truly, that you truly sorry. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, who who will we be? We all fall short. We all make mistakes. None of us is, is perfect beings. You know, but only you can decide what's right for you. Only you can decide what you're willing to accept and which if you don't want to accept then that I mean so it's up to you. We all have free will. We have free will in, in, in this 3D earthly realm here. So it's just up to you if you're willing to really accept this person. Okay? But that's what I have for you towards. Don't forget to like, come try and fold your girl. Bye.